the sectors of visual arts, audiovisual arts, media arts. And what we do is we document the sector, it means persons and organizations. We know what they do, what their problems are, what the challenges are, and we try to support them, help them with the, the development of their professional practice. For artists, for example, we offer a lot of information about residencies abroad, about possibilities for workshops, subvention possibilities. And for organizations, we map different types of challenges, for example, how to communicate with the internet, uh, new ways of um, educational work, um, new uh, possibilities for communication, and also we uh, do a lot to connect the organizations and artists here in Belgium with the players abroad. We don't give subventions, we help people finding their way into the subvention systems, but we ourselves uh, are not uh, a subvention institution, so it's really kind of a go-between. We have every year a stand on this art fair, but this time it's the first time that I'm here and doing it. And it's a little bit difficult because uh, most of the people come to buy art and so we try to give an idea with this map, with the catalogs, uh, we try to give an idea about the, 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 the scene, the art scene in Belgium, which is not, not the galleries because they are in the art fair, but more the museums and the, the institutions which are there, which operate uh, in, in, in the world. At the Biennale, um, if it is city marketing, of course, then it's not so interesting, but if it is really an uh, effort to make people work together on a local level, but with an international focus, with international connections, and also with an international profile, to bring uh, an international interest of audience into Brussels uh, with, a, with, a, with a good concept, then I think it's an opportunity for Belgium because there's a lot of interesting smaller institutions which don't have the means to promote themselves very strongly abroad. But if they connect themselves into this biennial, as a core player or maybe as a more an off player, whatever, then it gives opportunities for this for this a lot of smaller institutions to create better international uh, connections. You will see if this works, but I think that's the opportunity for the Biennial. And the second one is uh, a lot of Biennials abroad are about well, the top artists, while this Biennial wants to focus on a certain theme, for example, modernism, or the theme of what we also expressed on the map, this periphery, because Brussels, Antwerp, and Mons, Maastricht, Düsseldorf, we are in between London, Paris, Amsterdam, so we don't have a Tate Modern, we don't have a Centre Pompidou, but if you make a strong connection to all these very interesting uh, places, then this is an incredible rich region and that's also what the biennial probably can commun communicate to the world what the potential, the cultural, the cultural potential is of this what we call, it's not really periphery but in between the big, you know, the big centres